Good evening. Welcome to our introduction to paper for parents. My name is John Long. I'm a specialist with the Department of Educational Technology, and I'm going to kind of host our session tonight. And we're glad that you're here. And if you're watching live or recording, we were just are grateful that you're here and you're learning to wanting to learn more about paper. So let's get to a few housekeeping tips. We're going to kick it off right to that. Uh, we have a chat box over there on the uh, right-hand side, I believe it is. And what you'll need to do is you'll have to create a little channel, which is just type in a name of your channel, and you can actually chat and ask questions in the chat. Uh, we have people with blue wrenches by their names from paper that are there to answer your questions. So feel free to answer your, uh, put those questions there in the chat. And we can actually pull those questions up for Robin, our uh, contact person, when we're uh, ready for those questions. Uh, we'd like for you to like and subscribe because we have a lot of content for uh, teachers and students as well. Parents, we were welcome you to see our content. We've got some great stuff to share with students and you can like and subscribe and follow our YouTube channel. And we're very glad that you can uh, share with us that content. So it's my privilege to introduce our chief academic officer, Dr. Glenda Sheffield, who's going to introduce our uh, presenter tonight, Dr. Sheffield. Well, good afternoon. Um, thank you, John. Um, it's definitely exciting to be here this afternoon um, to just talk to our parents and those that may be watching um, around our 24-7 online tutoring platform known as PAPER. Um, we launched this initiative back in January at the beginning of second semester for our um, secondary students, grades 6 through 12. And I tell you, it has just been overwhelmingly received by our students and our teachers. Um, currently, as of today, because I'm able to monitor this data, right now we've had over 17,000 784 tutorial sessions, and we had read at about 2,800 essay reviews. And what this is, is that our students are able to log on to this online platform to where they're working with um, a online tutor. They're receiving assistance in over 200 um, various courses. Um, teachers are able to go back, look and review the transcript, in regards to the areas in which the students received assistance in. And as the teachers are reviewing the transcripts of our students to seeing exactly where they're receiving assistance, they're able to differentiate the instruction when that student returned back to their classroom. So again, this is just another tutorial opportunity. I mean, layer, I should say, of opportunities for our students as we're determined in just maximizing the instructional needs and in closing the achievement gaps for our students. So this afternoon, we do have Robin here with us from PAPER, working very closely with us. And what she's going to do, Robin is actually going to just showcase um, the offering, the exposures for our families so that they could actually see what PAPER entails and what the students are exposed to when utilizing this phenomenal service. So again, I just thank everyone for, for watching. And Robin, thank you for being here and spending time with our families and with our community stakeholders. Because together, we are and will continue to make a difference here within the School District of Palm Beach County. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Sheffield. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. Um, thank you for having me. And I am so excited to share a little bit more about what Paper has to offer. Again, I'm Robin. I am a senior customer success manager here at Paper. Richard Johnson is going to be um, my right hand guy. He's your on the ground support there at Palm Beach. And um, he is going to be getting into those schools and providing some more additional insight into what Paper has to offer. So again, we are PAPER, an educational support system. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit more about how you as parents and guardians can support your children as we are giving them the opportunity for some high dosage tutoring. We are going to get into the paper experience. So a big overview of what our platform is. We're going to look at our platform, engage in a live chat with a tutor, and then have a, a period for some questions and some answers. 
So as we are getting ready, I would love to know what is the biggest challenge you faced when helping your student or students with academics. So if you could answer in the chat, I would love to know if you are A, having some challenges helping with the advanced topic assignments that your students are getting, B, helping prepare for exams, finish an assignment due the next day, revising written work, or E, all of the above. I would love to hear a little bit more about some of the common struggles that you have as, um, as parents and guardians with students in grades 6 through 12. So I'm seeing A. I saw some A's there. Thank you for, for sharing those on the screen. Amazing. So helping with advanced topics, definitely. E, all of the above, B. Thank you, everybody. These are all really, thank you. I love it. So we're seeing a lot of helping with advanced topics, helping prepare for exams, all of the above, just finishing assignments. So a little bit of each piece here, we're seeing A through E. Now, I am so happy to say that paper is going to support you in helping your students and your children finish those assignments, prepare for those exams. Here at Paper, we are on a mission to provide equitable, personalized, and scalable academic support. And that's one-on-one -on -one support for your um, students in your school community. So again, helping overcome those challenges of studying for an exam or um, finishing up homework from the day. A little bit about who we are. So the experience of paper, as you see the little animation on the right hand side, is going to be an instant and unlimited 24 seven tutoring support that is through a chat. Now these services are available in English, French and Spanish 24 seven with Mandarin coming up a little bit short of that 24 seven mark. So that means if a student is a Spanish speaking student and they feel more comfortable speaking with a bilingual tutor and they need help in chemistry, they would be able to log on and have a conversation with that bilingual tutor. Additionally to our live chat, we also have essay review. So that means any piece of written work a student can upload, whether that's a lab report, it could be a book report, a five paragraph narrative essay, a history assignment or a research paper that can be uploaded through our essay review process and that will be returned within 24 hours with annotated feedback from an essay reviewer. I'll go into a little bit more in depth of our live chat and our essay review when we dive into our student dashboard. Again, as Dr. Sheffield had mentioned, this service is for students in grades 6 through 12 at Palm Beach County and it is free for all students and families. This is funded through the district. And again, this is access for all students. Additionally, we support all levels of learners as tutors are um, able to see students first name and last, um, uh, the first letter of the last name as well as grade level. So tutors are coming in asking questions to see what students know already and they're able to support K through 12. Again, paper is accessible on any device as you're seeing in the little animation. We are on Chromebooks, on iPads, mobile devices, and all interactions are recorded as, and transparent. As Dr. Sheffield had alluded to, she can monitor and see all of the transcripts that students are using and engaging with tutors in. Similarly, administrators, site principals, teachers, they are all able to see the interactions that students are having with tutors, as well as yourself. Students can log into their dashboard and have a history of all of their tutoring sessions and essays that have been reviewed if you choose to look over those as well. So what makes a paper tutor? These members of our team are full-time or part-time paper employees. They are background checked, vetted, and screened to make sure that they have the utmost expertise for your students. They must pass a subject matter exam to ensure that they are ready and can assist in any of those content areas. They are effective, efficient, and clear communicators when asking probing questions for your students and clarifying any misconceptions that may happen in, from classroom instruction. They're approachable, supportive, and patient, and truly want your students to succeed. These tutors can be college graduates, young professionals. They can also be former teachers. They're culturally diverse and multilingual as we have bilingual tutors on staff and we really want the very best for all of your students. 
So it is time, that fun part, to take a look at our platform and see what the live chat and essay review are all about. So I'm going to switch my tabs here for you all. And magically, I am signed into my paper account. So here at Palm Beach, your students can log into the paper platform through the district portal. They're going to search in the district portal for paper, which the tile is going to look like our little emblem up at the top here. Now this is the entirety of our dashboard. We have the dashboard, our chat, and our essay review feature. The students will be asked a few questions as they log in for the very first time where they get to choose an avatar of their liking, fill out a few questions around how they learn best, what their favorite subjects are, and what their least favorite subjects are. If students do need to change the language that they want to connect with a tutor in, this text bubble up at the top is allows students to change their language. I'm gonna stick with English right now. I haven't mastered my Spanish yet to order in order to speak to a bilingual tutor. But right now you'll see at the very top, there's a welcome message with my first name. There's also an introduction video that lasts about one and a half minutes and an activity called Paper Station where students can sign up, um, click on this button and it's about 20 minutes with some interactive videos and activities for them to get acclimated to that paper platform. If there is a question that you have um, that you're not sure, you can type into our help box right here. If something doesn't pop up, you can then send a message to our help desk and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. So as you can see below, there are two sides of my dashboard. We have this, what do you need help with section where we type our question if we're not sure of what subject area it goes, it connects to. And then we have our essay review where we can upload our written work. If you log on or you, your, your student logs in to the platform, they should see tiles that correlate to all of their classroom subjects that they have during the day. So their math class would pop up here with the name of the math class, and this would be their math teacher's name. If they needed help with that subject, they would click ask a tutor underneath that subject's tile. So as you can see here, I have a math class, English, U.S. history, Spanish, and again, U.S. history. We are experiencing a little bit of a delay with our platform today, so we're going to see if we can connect to a tutor right now. Again, if there is a subject that isn't on the list but they do have questions on, maybe they are dual enrolled in another school and we haven't really rostered their class for them. They can ask any tutor. As Dr. Sheffield had mentioned, we do support over 200 topics and subject areas of coursework. And that's what we're going to click on today. We are going to ask any tutor. So as you can see, I'm being connected to a tutor named Lauren in under 30 seconds. And um, right here, we have our text box where we can start the conversation. So I'm going to say, hi, Lauren. And um, it, as you can see, it does look like a message or an iMessage, a text message. And you can see here that Lauren is, is responding. So there are a few ways I can begin the conversation. I can type my question in here. I can send a file, so a PDF version of any document that students have from maybe posted on Google Classroom or a picture of a worksheet. They can also draw on the whiteboard here. I'm going to see if Lauren can help me with math. I have a math question. Can you help? And our entire platform is chat-based when it comes to our live chat. There's no video, so students are not going to be seeing tutors live. Tutors are not going to be seeing tutors live. Um, it's all going to be chat-based. There is also no audio. So as you, um, as we're waiting to hear if Lauren is able to help us with the math question, as I did ask any tutor, um, she may need to transfer me if she's not available to help me specifically with math. But I'll take you through a little bit of our other features. A student can like what somebody has said on the platform, um, or they can um, also, I'm gonna say, thanks Lauren, that would be great. We'll see how fast we can get transferred to a math tutor. So again, we are going to be set up and someone from our math department is going to support us. So as you can see at the bottom here, I can also send emojis to the tutor. I, um, oh, 
you can use the send file button below. So I'm going to send my, my question to her. I had it copy and pasted, ready to go. So we're going to be asking a math question here. Perfect. So I had alluded to this a little bit before as we're waiting to be transferred to our math tutor. This is where our history of sessions lives for any student that has logged on to the platform before. So if let's say your child is studying for an exam and wants to review any of their old sessions, they would hit on the his, click on the history tab here and that will allow them to see any of their sessions that they have completed. So as you can see here, I have some sessions that I could sort through and then I can also allocate um, some bookmarks and I'll show you how to make a bookmark as well for those aha moments. So let's see here. So Lauren said that looks like geometry. I'll transfer you now. Have a great evening, Robin. And I'm going to like that and press OK. And I'm actually going to bookmark my own question so that I can follow, find it later on. So we'll see um, how Lauren is getting us um, situated with a math tutor. And we will hopefully get to engage with one. As I'm saying, said before, our platform was experiencing a little difficulty with our super user account internally, not so much externally. So if your students are logging in right now, they will be connected to the tutor of their choice. So it looks like Tony is taking over for Lauren. Um, and Tony can see our conversation. So I don't need to um, send that question again. Um, Tony will be able to review that content. So I'm just going to say, hi, Tony. And I can see he's already typing. Um, I'll copy and paste my math question back to him. And so we, we can see how Tony is now going to start asking some probing questions as our tutors do not give away any answers. They'll be making sure that I have some prior knowledge and always want to hear about what I have my thoughts are first. I would like to hear your ideas about this so far. Excellent. Um, I'm As a former math teacher myself, I'm going to say, I think I can use the slope formula or I can graph it, but I don't have any graph paper. And let's see what Tony has is gonna say here. So again, Tony won't be giving me the answer. He'll be asking what I know and use those methods to push my thinking a little bit more. Your students are going to learn how to advocate for themselves, think a little bit more critically, and feel like independent, confident problem solvers by the end of their tutoring sessions. I had mentioned a little bit before about how we are a high dosage tutoring company, and that means these tutoring sessions can last for two minutes, 10 minutes, a half hour. They can go on for two hours. That really depends on the commitment that your students um, are going to make for their schoolwork. So if it's just a quick homework check answer, log on to paper. If they need to study for an exam, log on to paper. Well, in that case, we can use the slope formula. Could you tell me what the formula says? This is a great opportunity to show you all the draw feature here, as it might be a little bit hard to uh, type out that formula. And don't mind my trackpad skills. I'm going to write out that slope formula just for us so we can see. We are writing on our whiteboard, we can change the color. We can also insert a picture that we can draw on. So I'm going to send that over to Tony. And I'm actually going to tell him we need to go. It, sometimes students just end the sessions randomly. I need to go. Thank you. I think I'm on the right track. And we are going to head on over out to um, end this session. And I'll show you how students are able to give some feedback to us as paper and also to the tutors themselves. And Tony has ended that session. So thank you, Tony. I'm able to rate my session with Tony. I had a great time. I think I'm getting it. And we will be able to submit that back to um, the tutors. So now we are going to go back to our dashboard and look at our essay review. So that is the entirety of our live chat. We are going to upload an essay now. And this is for any piece of written work that is fairly long. We want students to get 
um, comfortable with reading annotated feedback, revising their written work, and know that it can be a process to get to that final draft. So I'm going to show you how to upload a file from our computer. And just as a brief overview, we are going to first upload our essay file. It um, has to be right now a PDF or a, a Word document. We are not accessible through Google Docs right now, so we do have a way for students to download their Google document as a PDF in order to upload it. Next, students will answer a few questions, and this really includes the connection to the classroom. That's where students will upload any teacher instructions and rubrics so that our essay reviewers can give the best feedback that's aligned to what the teachers are looking for. And then the essays will be reviewed and returned within 24 hours. Additionally, our tutors will check for plagiarism and there will be this green stamp of approval being plagiarized verified. And I'll show you that briefly. So I'm going to upload a file from my computer. I'm going to upload an essay that I wrote on the scarlet letter. And here I can write in the essay title. I can select the language that my essay is in. French, Spanish, um, English, and select the course that it is for. Now, here's the best part is what are your teacher's instructions? Students have access to this through the prompt that teachers use on the worksheet or through Google Classroom. So you can copy and paste those directions right here. Additionally, if there's anything else students need to work on, maybe they got a comment on transitional sentences, and that could be left here for the tutor as well. So click on that green review my essay button and off it goes into the queue. Now let's snap our fingers and pretend that 24 hours has passed. I'm going to click on my essay. So this is what a student will see in return once the essay has been reviewed within 24 hours. There is going to be one note here that kind of goes over a brief overview of the general feedback and feelings about the paper. There will be some glows, some highlights, and some grows, some ways to improve our paper. Additionally, you can see here that our paper has been verified for plagiarism. And this would become a, a red fish if it looked a little fishy. And in this note, there will be ways to um, clarify any of that plagiarism misconceptions. So we are going to download that essay. And I just briefly want to show you what the annotations look like. So the reviewed essay will look highlighted and there will be some comments from the tutor. So again, Stephanie was my essay reviewer and is she's giving me a little bit of insight as to how I can further progress my essay and develop my um, concepts from here. Again, our essay reviewers are not going to fix the writing of the student, but we'll ask some probing questions to get them to think a little bit more deeply. So for instance, Stephanie said, expand a bit more here. How does this recognize? How does he have a private, personal private moment of reflection? This is all going to be how the essay reviewers are encouraging students to think a little bit more critically about how they can improve their essay. A, a meeting of the minds would be a great uh, time to take an essay review into a live chat. So if a student needs some support on reviewing that essay's annotated feedback, they can then engage in a live chat with a tutor and ask specifically for help and some brainstorming and collaboration. And that's really the gist of our entire student dashboard. There, um, again, our live chat can be entered on the left-hand side of the dashboard. Our essay review is accessible on the right-hand side of our dashboard. Again, teachers, administrators, they, you as parents and guardians are able to see all of the interactions between um, the tutor and the student and that's there for you on through the district portal. So I'm going to take us back to the presentation just for a few more moments before we can open up to um, some questions and answers. So thanks to Colleen right now who is manning the chat. And um, I just wanted to go over a few ways that paper truly benefits your students. The, again, there is unlimited access via the district portal so that students can get um, work can work at a pace that works best for them, and they can access at a time that works best for them as well. This is available during the, day, the school day and also after school hours. The tutoring support and the essay review is always guided. So again, no answers will be given. The tutors are asking probing questions to make sure that 
um, students are gaining a clear conceptual understanding of the topics they've learned during the day. And again, we are here to support every member of the school community. And so teachers can also see what students are asking, and that will allow them to focus on any learning gaps that happened um, from the previous day's lesson. And they can address those in small groups or the next day in class. So I'm going to turn it over to you all. And I did hear a lot of your challenges in the beginning of uh, not being able to help with advanced topic assignments or having um, students who need to prepare for exams. So all you need to do is remind them that paper exists. I do remember when I had trouble in school and my parents would tell me to call one of my friends in my class or call a classmate. And I was always the shy one. I never wanted to call. So this is a really great opportunity for you as the parent or guardian to suggest paper. It can be used to help with homework, with essay edits, and study support. So if your child is nervous about calling up a friend or reaching out to a classmate, this can be another great way for you to support them in their academic success, especially as I know we are gearing up towards the end of a marking period. This is a great way for them to talk about any of the work that they may need to make up as well. So I'm going to open it up to um, question and answer time. And I know that Colleen has been um, in the chat and I am happy to support her in um, any of the ways that I can. So let's see here, we have, okay, so my son is in the marketing program. Do your tutors, can they help with specialty classes? Um, they most definitely can. I'm going to pull up our subjects list right now. Um, and I'm going to make sure that that is subjects. Make sure that that is there for, for you all. And I just want to give that information to you as well. So we do offer 200 plus topics covered. So I'm going to scroll down. We have mathematics, biology, health sciences, physics, English, chemistry, history, politics, law, economics, finance. I am not seeing marketing right now, but you know what? This is a great opportunity. Oh, here we are. We do support marketing. So thank you for that question here. We are getting down to the, the very end here with music theory, art history, marketing, accounting, philosophy. So thank you for that question. All right. Do we have any other questions that have not been answered in the chat? Um, thank you, Jorge. How long does it take a reviewer to review an essay? We say it takes about, a. Um, we can guarantee within 24 hours, there will be a reviewed essay back in the um, student's uh, paper portal. So we recommend that at least one day is notice to uh, make sure that that draft is up before a deadline. Um, if an essay is based on a book, will they still be able to help if a tutor hasn't read the book? Absolutely. So our tutors do have a set of curricular materials. And as the essay reviewers are most likely either English majors in college or um, literature majors, they have read a majority of the books that students are reading in school today, um, as well as being able to take some time during that 24 hour period to review any notes about that book as well. That's a great question. Thank you for asking that. Um, Mary said, can parents review what their child has requested help with? Absolutely, Mary. If you have your child log into their platform, um, into their district portal site, you can look at the history of their chats. And that way you can see what they've um, asked for help with and how they've actually spoken to a tutor about those concepts. Let's see here. I think I saw a question from Paul. Um, once my question is answered, how do I end it? I think I missed it. Paul, you didn't miss it. Tony got ahead of me and he ended that session before I could click end session. There is going to be a button in the upper right hand corner that says end session and that's where students are able to leave the live chat. Thank you all for these amazing questions. Um, we are, um, I will give you some time to uh, 
see if anything pops in um, to your brains as you're you're processing all of this information. Um, we will be here for a, a little while longer. We we scheduled one hour for you all um, to make sure that you had all of your questions answered. Um, where do I find that list of topics? I can definitely share that with um, the chief with Dr. Sheffield's office, and that will be accessible to you as well. Um, this is our brochure and our list of topics, so we can make sure that that's linked for you all. Um, when does paper go live? Um, so happy to say that paper went live on January 4th. So all students in grades six through 12 do have access to this platform right now. Thank you for all of your questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you to the EdTech team for saying they will put on the um, that list of documents up there. So how about SAT and ACT prep? Absolutely, Jeff. Um, they So our tutors are well-versed in the content that is on these exams, on the ACT and the SAT. And while we don't guarantee reviewing test prep strategies, we will work with students on the content that is on the ACT and the SAT. So if they are focusing on math or ELA or reading, they can click on the respective courses, the math tile or their English tile, and be able to get the support um, with the math problems. So they can even send pictures of the SAT or the ACT problems that they are working on so that they can work through those with a tutor. Are AICE classes on the list? Yes, our tutors can support students in your AICE classes, your AP classes, and um, they can support them in all the advanced topics that they may be experiencing in some of their electives as well. Oh, wonderful, Trina, that's so exciting. I, I hope he's had some great experiences so far on the platform and, um, it's wonderful. Maybe he can share that with his his classmates and and share some of those live chat sessions with you as well, so you can see the support he's been getting. So for Algebra One end of course prep, absolutely. If a student is enrolled in Algebra One, they will have that Algebra One tile on their. Um, dashboard, they will be able to click ask a tutor, they would be connected with a math tutor that can support um, algebra, algebra one, and students can upload any of the questions that they need to review in a study guide for the EOC, or any of the um, any of the exams that they've taken as well. All right. So maybe we will we'll stay on for another minute or two to see if we have any last minute questions that pop in. And I know Dr. Sheffield wanted to sign off this evening um, when you all are ready, but I will um, leave it open for another two minutes to see if we have any more questions. And um, I wanted to thank you again for taking the time to, to hang out with us this evening or this afternoon um, as we are getting your students ready for, for end of course season and um, just creating those accessible moments on paper. I see here on the chat, um, I think it's Elkies. Um, I'm not sure what question that you may have asked. If you can type it into the chat again, that would be great. Thank you.
Ah, can two students group study and get help in a group session? That's a wonderful question. Um, right now, students are not able to be grouped into a study session with a tutor. That is a feature that we used to have and hopefully, I don't know if it's coming back, but again, as I said, we love to hear your feedback. And this is the second time I've heard the, this question in about a week. So I am definitely going to be bringing this back to our product team and see if there is anything on in the works for there. But right now, no, two students cannot be group studying. They can share a laptop together, but if they're um, not in the same location, they wouldn't be able to engage in a live chat together. But great question. Thank you for that. Is there any limit of time? So there is no limit of time and that's kind of twofold. So there's no limit of time for one individual session one individual session can last for two minutes, it can last for 15 minutes, it can last for two hours. And there's also no time limit for the number of accumulated minutes. So it doesn't, there's no bank that is being taken out of. There is unlimited access for your students in individual sessions and overall. This, um, hi Laverne, no problem, happy to have you here. Um, the student does not need to do anything specific to sign up or use paper. The only thing they need to do is to log into the district portal that they have um, access to, search for the name paper in the search bar and a paper tile will show up. They click on that and they will be automatically logged in through their Clever credentials. Does the history section have modules they can get help on versus an assignment? So right now, all of our tutors are going to be um, supporting students with assignments that are currently coming from the classroom. So we aren't providing any instruction on history or we're not providing any assignments. It's all coming from the teacher and what the teacher is working on in the class. So if there is maybe a time period for history or an event that the student is struggling to remember details for, they're able to talk with a tutor about all of those specific things. Does the paper support formulas such as LaTeX, et cetera? Right now, we don't have any specific math type um, for those subjects. We um, do have our whiteboard where you can draw on there, but unfortunately, we don't have any uh, correlation between those two. Is this platform in addition to or instead of Google? So this platform is an additional resource. Um, it's an educational support system. So it's a resource for students to use in conjunction with any of their Google Classroom materials. They can um, use and share those with, with tutors as well to get support on those homework assignments. Are there dedicated tutors? Um, I believe you mean, are there dedicated, like tutors that um, students will um, receive over and over again? Um, but if I'm wrong with that assumption, please let me know. Um, we do have a wide pool of tutors. So right now, in order to make this scalable, um, our students are not paired with the same tutor again. It is by chance that they get matched through our algorithm. Would you be able to add a Google Slides or Docs to the meeting with the tutor? So students are able to share PDF documents or files. So if those are then downloaded onto the um, student's Chromebook, they are able to upload those to the uh, live chat, but they are not able to share the link and collaborate within Google Slides or Google Docs. We 
These are wonderful questions. Thank you so much. I'm just looking to my other side so I can see them up on the computer as well. Um, great question. So since Google Docs isn't supported readily, they can download the Google Doc as a PDF. And since it's going to be exported in that format, it will be um, the format will be retained through that PDF. So there there's um, they would be able to have that PDF up and then typing in all of the edits into Google Docs as well. Um, you said earlier, they encourage the student to solve their problems such as in math. Um, once solved, will they let them know if their answer is correct? Absolutely. That's, that's always important, right? But as a former math teacher, it's always the process that's the most important. Is there anything in the works for elementary grades in the future? So we do support as a, as a platform, um, K through 12, and I'll refer to um, Dr. Sheffield, maybe she can address that at the end about um, any of the other grades. And yes, our communication will only be through writing. Um, there is no extra fee. This is free for students and families. These are wonderful questions coming in at the end. Keep them coming. Um, so how can students look at what courses, topics the students may have asked help with? Um, that would be if they look in the history of their chats they would be able to click on each chat and be able to see what subject they are receiving help in. And in addition, one last comment, um, we are working with our departments. As I know, Haitian Creole is a big piece and part of the Palm Beach community, as well as a lot of other school districts in the nation. We are working to see how we can support and build up a team of tutors who are fluent in Haitian Creole. So hopefully be on standby for any additional updates for that. All right, and thank you for all of your questions. Dr. Sheffield, I'll pass it back over to you. Thank you, Robin. It was definitely, um, it was just wonderful having you to come on with us um, this afternoon and spend some time with our parents and our community um, to just share this um, fantastic opportunity um, that we are bringing forth um, to our students. Um, you know, as we were sitting back and planning and looking in regards to what is it that we could do for our students and providing them some academic assistance. You know, these past two years have been very challenging. And, you know, we're just constantly thinking and becoming innovative in regards to what is it that we can do to provide ongoing support to our students and to our families, not just during the instructional day, but outside the instructional day as well. So that's where we really took some time and we investigated um, and looking at this online platform and went through a process. And um, this is our first time here bringing something of this sort to the district. So we are trying it this semester and looking at to see how our students, how our families, how our teachers, how everyone respond to this initiative to see if it's something that we would want to continue to invest in for the upcoming year. Currently, it's grades six through 12, um, and the feedback that we are receiving has just been overwhelming. And you know, our students, they do provide, um, they do provide, you know, some credits to their, um, to their tutors. And we've asked, you know, our students to just share with us some of their thinkings. And I'm just going to share with you a few highlights from our students. You know, one student said, you know, Christopher whom is, was his tutor, was great with me and responded quickly and gave me the confidence to understand 
and become great at what I was doing. Another student wrote, more than help or tutoring. I um, gave the student, I um, gave the tutor name, was more like a person you can count on to help you in the best way imaginable in life. And this was from a middle school student. Another student said, a lovely person who helped me understand something I was completely clueless about. They were really nice and professional, but they also kept a comforting atmosphere. That was from one of our high school students. And this student said, David was great, David being the tutor. I was doubting myself and he kept encouraging me to keep going and really made the hard math I was doing very clear. And that's just, I just gave you some examples on some of the feedback that we as a district have been receiving from our students. You know, myself, um, Diana Fetterman, our assistant um, superintendent for teaching and learning, we also have access to where we go in daily. We're looking at the participation. We're looking at the transcript from our students. We're looking at the interaction. That's important to us because we want to see the kind of support that our students are in need of. We're working alongside with our principal supervisors. We're, you know, talking with our principals, making certain that they understand the benefit of this resource. And they do because many of our schools are not only using um, paper for our students after school hours, but they're also incorporating this during the instructional day for tutoring, for some differentiated learning, ongoing support and so forth. So again, parents, I just thank you. And here, you know, with the school district of Palm Beach County, we just want to continuously look for ways that's going to make a difference for our student learners and assist our teachers in the classroom. And most importantly, provide continuous support for our students when they're at home and needing some additional assistance. So we do hope that this seminar was beneficial to those of you that attended with us this afternoon. Um, there will be more coming um, because again, our top priority is bridging the gap and making certain that we keep our families, our community informed in regards to what's happening within our schools. So thank you for joining us this afternoon. And thank you, Robin. We really appreciate you. Thank you.